Welcome to the Uncle Eric Presents Crime Fiction Podcast, featuring classic radio shows, crime, murder mysteries, and suspense shows. We're so glad you tuned in for this current classic episode. But first, a few show comments and episode notes from Uncle Eric. Welcome back, folks, to yet another suspenseful episode from the Uncle Eric Presents series. I'm so very happy you tuned in. Today's episode is a suspense thriller called On a Country Road starring Cary Grant with Kathy Lewis. In today's episode, a patient escapes a mental hospital and is terrorizing Long Island with a cleaver. This episode is brought to you by our friends at CritterCaper.com. At Critter Caper, you can watch hundreds of pet and animal videos that will truly warm your heart. There are great pet care and training videos as well. If you're an animal lover, you can't miss Critter Caper. Please give CritterCaper.com a visit. Now, enjoy this great suspenseful episode titled, On a Country Road Starring Cary Grant. Autolite and its 96,000 dealers present Suspense. Tonight, Autolite brings you On a Country Road, a suspense play starring Mr. Cary Grant. Relax, David. There's no hurry to get home. Oh, who can relax in this mess of traffic? There must be a wreck or something up ahead. Mm. If this keeps up, we'll get caught in the rain. Yeah, it looks like a big storm building up, too. Hey, remember that shortcut? Which one? Well, the little tarred road that goes across through Center Marches and comes out on the other highway. What we took last summer? Yeah, I'll turn off there and duck this pile up. I'd like to get as far as possible before that storm hits. Why don't you put out your hand? David, don't get mad. Well, he cut right in front of me, trying to turn into that gas station. Maybe he needed gas. Mm. Oh. Turn on the radio, huh? Now, oh, there. This afternoon issue Sounds like warnings news. to all residents of Long Island to be on the lookout for Nellie Goller, a middle-aged woman described as dangerous and insane. She escaped this morning from Rescue Mental Hospital after fatally butchering a doctor, a nurse, and a ward attendant with a meat cleaver. This is the same Nellie Goller who a year ago murdered three persons on a Brooklyn street. This oh, station oh, brought my mother in law. description of our regular <laughs> newscast, which <laughs> At least we aren't the only crazy home. people on Long Island. Why did you change it? I don't want to listen anymore. Let's get home quickly, David. I don't like being out here with that woman running loose. Uh-oh. Here's the storm. Roll up the windows. In just a moment, Mr. Cary Grant in the first act of On a Country Road. Amazing, Wilcox. Amazing. What's so amazing, Senator? Your victory in the election. Uh, my candidate's victory, Senator. The famous Autolite Stay Full Battery. The battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. Why, everybody voted for the Autolite Stay Full Battery. You had plenty in reserve, Wilcox. Reserve? Why, the Autolite Stay Full Battery has over three times the liquid reserve of batteries without Stay Full features. Didn't you campaign with fiberglass retaining mats? Sure I did, Senator, because every positive plate of the Autolite Stay Full Battery is protected with a fiberglass retaining mat to prevent shedding and flaking and keep the power-producing materials in place. Why, your candidate is in for life, Wilcox. A longer life, Senator, because the Autolite Stay Full battery gives 70% longer life, as proved by tests conducted according to SAE minimum life cycle standards. So, friends, get acquainted with the Autolite Stay Full battery, the battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. See your neighborhood Autolite battery dealer now. And remember... You're always right with Autolite. And now, with On a Country Road and the performance of Mr. Cary Grant, Autolite hopes once again to keep you in suspense. they put her to sleep instead of just locking her up where she can escape and kill more people? Hmm? Put who to sleep? That woman they were talking about on the radio. Oh, 
She can't help us. She does. She's sick. Mm. What good does that do the people who get chopped up with a meat cleaver? I don't know. The laws were made before the doctors knew very much about the human mind. I still don't know much. Hmm. Oh, I can see what it is. There's a roadblock up ahead. What's happened? I don't know. Cops all over the road. David, I'll bet they're looking for that crazy woman. Oh, I guess so. I'll hold it a minute. What's up, officer? Uh, just a checkup, folks. Uh, anything in the back seat? Only the blanket and the lunchbox. We went on a picnic. Yes, ma'am. Seen any hitchhikers? No, just traffic. Okay, move right along, please. Are you looking for the crazy woman? Move it along, let's go. He didn't answer. He's busy. What are you doing? Listen. All residents and motorists on Long Island are warned to be on the alert for the escaped insane woman who is somewhere on the island. She is described as tall, broad-shouldered, gray-haired, and rather heavy. She may still be armed with the cleaver. One hundred men are searching the area, and they're prepared to shoot on sight. Here's another bulletin on the case which just came in. Just a few minutes ago, the decapitated bodies of an elderly man and woman were found oh, by police near Center Marriage. We haven't Marriage found, found her yet. This will get us out of that traffic. Of that. The bodies of an elderly couple have just been found in their car near Center Marriage's on a lonely, tarred road. Police are certain they were killed by Nellie Goller, the insane woman now at large. Residents of the area are warned not to open their doors to strangers. Motorists are cautioned to stay off lonely roads and not to pick up any hitchhikers. All persons are asked to be on the lookout for this woman. Oh, Here is her description They haven't again. caught her she yet. Better turn that off, darling. I thought you wanted arms. to hear it. Oh, that's She's enough believed of it. to be armed right. with the meat cleaver. This shortcut will save us a lot of time. You turned off the highway. Sure, I told you when I did it. We've come over a mile already. Save us a lot of time. But David, didn't you hear what the radio said about staying off lonely roads? Well, we only have to go across the other highway. It won't take long. You sure? Of course. We go past Center Marches, then take the left road and come out right by the highway bridge. Center Marches is where she just killed those two people. Oh, no, no, no. What can happen to us while we're driving? Hmm. Besides, the whole island is full of men looking for this lunatic. They'll catch you. Oh. It's just a storm. Now, come on, quiet down, you jumpy. Oh, I guess I'm silly. David. What? gas gauge says empty. Well, there's still a couple of gallons left when it points to empty. How long has it said empty? Don't know. Uh, I'll get gas when we get across to the other highway. David, I'm scared. Relax, honey. Rain and wind always make you nervous as a cat. I wish we'd stayed on the highway. If I'd known you'd act like this, I would have. Well, it's not my fault. Well, it's not mine either. I'm having trouble enough just trying to see through this storm. David. Let's not fight. Driving through these burned-out woods in this kind of weather is enough to give anyone the withers. Oh, goodness, it got dark so fast. You can hardly see ahead, even in the headlights. Uh, there's something ahead. Don't stop, David. That's only a sign. David, the crazy woman could be around here. I'm not picking up anyone. I just want to know where I am. Well, don't get out of the car. I'm not. Calm down. Let's see. Send them marches that way. Now, we'll take this road. Send her marches. This must be the road where she killed those people. Dorothy, please. I'm sorry. I'm so jumpy. Turn on the radio. This is a desolate place. We haven't even passed a house yet. Miles of woods on both sides of us. It's so dark, we couldn't have seen one if it were there. This rain seems to be getting worse. David, I'm just sure this is the road where that woman killed those two people. Oh, now stop that, Dorothy. That's why the police had a roadblock by this road. That crazy woman might be any place in these woods. But not necessarily where we are. <sighs> David, what's the matter? Oh, that's fine. What a place to run out of gas. Oh, no! David, you mean we're stuck here? Yeah, I'm afraid so, for the time being, anyway. I'm sorry, dear. That crazy woman is in the woods. She'll kill us. She's nowhere near us. David, quick. Turn off your headlights. Why? Did you hear something? David, I don't know. I don't know that I'm scared. <laughs> I guess I should have got 
gas. Oh, turn off the headlights, please. Why? She'll see us if you don't. We won't see her if I do. Please, David, turn them off. Oh, now, listen, Dorothy. Don't let this silly thing get the better of you. Oh, oh just look at the headlights. Poking into darkness of nothing but wet bushes and trees. Rain falling. Please, David. Oh, all right. There, now they're off. Do you feel better sitting in the dark? <sighs> Only the thunder and lightning would stop. And this rain. Look, Dorothy, there's no sense sitting here all night. It's only a few minutes past 10 o'clock. I'm going to walk up the road a bit. There might be a house or something. You're there. not going to leave me here. I won't let you go. But Dorothy, we can't sit here in the middle of nowhere for the rest of the night. We're safer here than out there. David, she's probably hiding in the woods. She's just waiting for a chance to kill us. Oh, come on, Dorothy. Why should she be right where we've run out of gas? Why now? can't she be here? Please stay in the car. All right. Lock the doors from the inside. Why? What is it? Now she can't get in here. She's nowhere near oh, us. Don't be mad at me, David. I'm so scared. But if she's out there, she can easily smash the windows. Oh, don't scare me anymore. I know I'm acting silly. I can't help it. Oh, no. Come, let me put my arm around you. There. Go. Oh, David. Oh, put your head on my shoulder. <laughs> Forgive me, David. Well, go ahead and cry. Go on. It'll make you feel better. Isn't there some popular music? Renard is searched for the escaped insane woman who has killed five persons since fleeing from a Long Island mental hospital. Rain and darkness are hampering the search. Over 100 police are combing the wooded area near Center Marriages. It was near there that an elderly couple were butchered on a lonely, tarred road. In making her escape this morning, the mad woman killed a doctor, nurse, and... Let's leave it out for a while, huh? Oh, so quiet and lonely here. Wish it were morning. Look, Dorothy, I'll run up the road. There might be no, a house. No, no, David, please. David, listen. Did you hear that? What? I don't hear anything. Listen. There it is. No, I can't. It's a dog. A little dog barking. Oh, David. Well, I guess it's only a lost dog. Or maybe there's a house nearby. Or the crazy woman. Oh, David! She's out Something there! Something hit the back of the car! It's her! Is the door locked on your side? <laughs> Yes. Well, what if she breaks the windows? She's got a cleaver. In that flash of lightning, I saw somebody. Is it the crazy woman? I can't tell. She's lying on the road. Can you see her? Is she still there? Too dark to see. Have to wait for the lightning. I saw her. She's getting up now. She'll kill us. She'll kill us. Oh, no. What is she doing? I don't know. She must have been running. She didn't see the car and ran right into it. <laughs> She's at the window, right next to you. Oh, my Lord! Look at her! Get away from that window! David, she's trying to get in the car. Look at that face! And her hair! Go away! She's staring at us. I'm warning you. I'll shoot. David, she's coming back. Please, don't leave me out here. Please. That woman will kill me. Please. David, Please. take your pipe. Hold it like a gun. It'll look like a gun. Where is it? Where is it? In the club compartment. Here. Here it he is. Here. Look. I've got a gun. I'm going to shoot. She's backing away. Keep going before I start shooting. David, she's gone. She disappeared. 
We can't get out now. All we can do is sit here all night and wait for help. Can you see her? Where did she go? I don't know. She's out there, though. Probably planning on how to get in this car. David, what are we going to do? She's the one I know. But she didn't have a cleaver. She must have dropped it when she ran into the car. Her face is all twisted, her hair hanging down. And she's back there looking for the cleaver now. She'll kill us. She'll kill us. Charlie, stop it. She'll kill us. David! David! Autolite is bringing you Mr. Cary Grant with Kathy Lewis and Jeanette Nolan in On a Country Road. Tonight's production in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Say, Wilcox, what was your platform? Why, the Autolite Stay Full Battery, the battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. Go on, Wilcox. Well, we pointed out that the Autolite Stay Full has over three times the liquid reserve of batteries without Stay Full features. Amazing. Ah, but that's not all, Senator, because we pointed out, too, that the Autolite Stay Full gives longer life. Seventy percent longer life, in fact as proved by tests conducted according to SAE minimum life cycle standards. <laughs> then there's fiberglass retaining mats protecting every positive plate to prevent shedding and flaking and to give the Autolite stay full, scintillating superiority. How is your plurality, Wilcox? Sensational, Senator. We got all but one vote. Why, that's positively preposterous. Sure is, Senator, because everybody's heard of the Autolite stay full battery. The battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. So see your neighborhood Autolite battery dealer. And remember, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage Mr. Cary Grant in Elliot Lewis's production of On a Country Road. A tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. David, she broke the window. Get away from there. Stay out of the car. I'm coming in. I can't stand Let's it. Stay out, out of the here. car. I warn you. I've got a gun. You wouldn't shoot me. Go away. You're crazy. We know all about you. I'm not the crazy woman. Believe me. Let me in. Don't do it, David. She's trying to trick us. Listen to me, please. I've been running in this awful storm. My car is stuck in the ditch back there. How far back? I don't know. It seems like miles. I heard about the crazy woman on the radio. I was afraid to stay in the car alone. Let me in. No, David. Go back to your own car. No. It's so dark and so lonely in this storm. I locked the doors, but I was afraid I could see things and hear things in the darkness. I couldn't stand it anymore. I got out and I ran. It's the rain. That's why I look like this. I'm not the crazy woman. Dorothy. Maybe she isn't a crazy woman. Maybe she's just scared and exhausted. Let me in. Please, let me in. No, David, no. She's the one I know. This crazy woman had a cleaver. I'm not armed. The three of us will be safer together. No, she makes sense to me, Dorothy. We would be safer with one more person. Oh, David, I don't know. Let me in, please. I'm wet to the skin. I'm going to unlock the door, Dorothy. David. Oh. All right. Now, get in. Oh. Make one move and I'll shoot you. Oh, oh it's good to sit down. All right. Now, there's a blanket on the floor back there. Try and dry yourself off with it. Oh, the darkness and the rain. There's enough to drive me out of my mind. Well, just take it easy, lady. I ran and ran. All I could hear was feet chasing after me, hunting me. Do you live near here? Farther out. Near Restview. I used to live in Brooklyn. Restview is the mental hospital. I know. I'm used to the crazy people. But not a night in a lonely place like this. Not the kind who kill people. You, uh, you live at Restview? No. 
just near there. David, we can't sit here not knowing. If we could get to a phone. A phone? Why? To call the police. Get some help. No! Don't do that. Why not? Why don't you want the police? Oh, I, I do. But you'd be killed. What do you mean? The woman. She'll kill him if he goes away from this car. Oh. There's that dog. You hear it? Somebody's out there. Well, there must be a house up ahead. Maybe it's barking to be let in. No. It senses somebody. There's somebody out there. The crazy woman's creeping around out there. Quick. Let's get away. Look out, David. Go of me. Huh? What are you trying to do? Start the car, quick. We'll get away. We're out of gas. Out, out of gas? You don't think we parked here for the fun of it, do you? Oh, such a desolate place to run out of gas. It stopped barking. What does it mean? You can't just sit here. We've got to get away. Oh, I'm not a magician, lady. I can't make gasoline out of rain. Oh, he can't stay here the whole night. You no, hear me? Let go of me. There's nothing I can do. Try something, anything. Don't just sit there. She's scaring me, David. Stop her. Cut it out. Cut it out. You'll have us all in hysterics. All right. All right, I'm sorry. Look, I got an idea. Give me your gun. What for? What for? I'll tell you. I want it. Give it to me, David. Listen to me. I'm all right, but I can't sit here all night. I go crazy. Give me the gun. I'll go. I won't be afraid of the dark, the noises, the feet following me. I'll go. I promise you. But give me the gun. No, now sit down. Please. I'll go. I promise. I can't stand sitting in the dark like this. Can't you stop her, David? I told you to shut up. If you don't, you'll have to get out of the car. Not into the woods again. Oh, you're nice people, aren't you? Or do you want me to leave so you can shoot me? Is that it? We're not going to shoot you. We don't have a gun. It's only a pipe. Earth. A pipe? A smoking pipe? David, I'm sorry. Then... Then you're unarmed. I'm sorry, yes, David. Yes, I'm sorry. Why did you tell me you had a gun? What difference would it make to you whether I'm armed or not? I don't know you. Maybe you two are more dangerous than the crazy woman. I'll tell you what I think. I think you're the crazy woman. The way you grabbed David when you wanted him to start the car. Dorothy, stop it. Don't excite her. Don't excite me? Why? Do you think I'm dangerous? An old woman you took into your car, two of you, and you're afraid of me? I'm not afraid of you. Now sit back in the seat and don't try anything. David, the storm is stopping. Maybe now is the time. The time for what? What are you going to do? You two are up to something. Oh, shut up! My wife meant now is the time to go for help. I did not. I meant now is the time for us to escape. David, can't you see it? She's the one. She'll kill us. You little... Oh, stop it. Sit back in that seat. You haven't got a gun. No. But I've got a knife. David! It's my jackknife. But it's sharp and strong, so don't try any tricks. All right. Threaten me. Watch me while that woman is out there. All you can do is sit and wait for her to make the next move. David, she can kill us like that old man and woman. They must have been on this same road. They were in their car, too. They must have let her in. We'll leave, then. The three of us will walk. We'll, we'll stay close together. We'll be quiet. Anyone hiding in the woods won't hear us. Don't get out of the car, oh, David. Oh, how will we find our way? It's too dark. We'll find our way. Look out there. The road's full of shadows. Get her out of the car, David. She wants to kill us. Kill you. Well, look, if you want to go, why don't you leave? We're going to stay here until some help comes. Oh, I'd be helpless alone if I had a gun or something. You're nice. Oh, why doesn't somebody come? Where are the police? I can't stand this. Nobody will come. There's no one in these woods. They're buried out and deserted. Dorothy, come on, please. It was your idea to use this road. He wouldn't listen to me and stop for gas. I couldn't help it. I got lost. Oh, why don't you do something? Not just sit here waiting, waiting. Do something before we're murdered. Are you so helpless? All right. I am going. 
you'll enter his family. I'll go for help. That's it. Get help. David. In her hand. I saw it in the moonlight. It glittered. What is it? Your wife is hysterical. She, she was holding it. A long piece of broken glass, long and pointed. See? She doesn't answer. She's just watching us. What is she waiting for? It's from the broken window. That's where she got it. So what if I have it? I'm not going to sit here defenseless. She's going to attack Don't us. Don't be silly. It was all right for you to have a knife. Why can't I be armed for whatever may come? Give me that broken glass. Give it to you. You think I'm crazy? You couldn't protect us from anything. Oh. David, what are you doing? Why are you climbing over the seat? I'll what are you... I warn you. I'm through letting my wife be terrified. Give me that glass. Stay away from me! Once I left the car, you were going to butcher my wife. With that broken glass. No! No! David! <laughs> I... Give me that glass. I... You're crazy. Let me along. Hold her, David. Oh. Hold her. Don't let her free. I... Wong. Wong. Drop my arm. You kill me. Drop that glass. I... You both gone crazy. Trying to kill me. Like you were going to murder us. No, I wasn't. Don't let her get free. I can't hold her. She's oh. strong. If you have a knife, then I'll have glass. David, David, hold it. Much longer. David, I'm not crazy. Please believe me. You've got my throat. Ah. You're me. Ah. Your knife. David, your knife. Uh. David. Ah. David, you... You killed her. David, you... I couldn't help it. I couldn't move. Oh, you're covered with blood. She was going to kill us. Uh. <gasps> There's some lights. A car is coming. Help's coming. Hey there, you in the car. Why are you parked here? It's the police. At last. We ran out of gas. The crazy one. What a night to run out of gas. You couldn't have picked a better spot. What with that woman running around loose? Officer, we want to tell you... A farmer up the road called and said his dog's been barking at something. We caught her. Uh, who'd you catch? The crazy woman. She, she's in the back seat, dead. What? Uh, no. No, she's alive. Hurt bad, though. Uh, she was trying to kill us. Well, we'll get her to a hospital. You two had better come with me. We captured that crazy woman a half hour ago. I don't know who this lady is. I hope you enjoyed this latest Uncle Eric Presents episode. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode. Please check back often and make sure to subscribe to my podcast so you won't miss the new exciting episodes. In the meantime, scroll up or down to find other exciting episodes to listen to. Don't forget to visit UncleEric.com to see and listen to all the program categories and episodes. There are also hundreds of the old classic crime and detective television show episodes you can watch as well. They're a hoot to watch. That's Uncle UncleEric.com. If you like this episode, please consider buying Uncle Eric a cup of coffee at the support link below. Thanks a million. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye for now.